wanted to say a couple things. First things first, a friend of mine is doing a Memorial Day sale today and tomorrow. So today being Sunday, Monday being Memorial Day. We're doing 20% off site-wide. We really don't do a ton of sales at all. So if that is live now, y'all can shop the site. We have like barely any needlepoint canvases left. So if you want them, get them now. The next thing is I have the craziest thing that has ever, ever happened to me. And the most exciting thing that has ever, ever happened to me going live tomorrow. So if y'all are not following me on Instagram or TikTok, you need to be because it is going to be the craziest thing ever. I would just say it now, but I just like cannot jinx it and it's going up tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I need everyone to go crazy for me. You will, just trust me. Last thing I wanted to say is I do have an entire podcast YouTube channel. Hi y'all, this is Houseguest and I am your host, Kenzie Elizabeth. Think a Gen Z wannabe Martha Stewart meets Dolly Parton trying to live in a Nancy Myers movie in her 20s. We talk all about life, relationships, navigating your 20s, closing out the bars, or waking up at 5 a.m. depending on our vibe that week. Ultimately, living our best lives and figuring it out along the way. So come hang out. Sometimes I have guests on who do really cool things, some of my best friends, or it's just me and my house that I spend way too much time in. So let's get into the show. So every single podcast episode is on YouTube. If y'all haven't listened to the podcast and you're more of a YouTube viewer, there you go. If you do listen to the podcast, like I just love a video format. I just got back from LA as we speak and I shot like eight new episodes. So it's all in studio. The quality is impeccable. Love 10 out of 10. If you guys could subscribe to that channel, I would love to get to 10K ASAP. I think that is it before we get into this vlog. As always, leave video requests, what you like and don't like about the vlogs, how long should they be. I love direction and feedback from y'all. Love you guys and let's get into the video. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday. I'm running out the door to go on a run right now. I've gotten really into it. Like, little life update. I love it. I feel like everyone says like eventually you'll start liking it and I've finally gotten to the point in running like yesterday I literally went running in the rain like I did a full run in the rain because I wanted to do it that bad which I just could never say was my story before you know so this morning I have a 28 minute speed run I'm like starting as like a beginner beginner runner to do a 5k which I just am like so shocked I thought I was like never going to do that like even running 20 minutes straight like it was so overwhelming before and then I literally did it in the rain yesterday. Like, I'm just shocked by myself. This week is going to be a productive week in my life. It's ACM week. It's my Homeworthy House Tour week. I leave for LA. I've got a lot of work stuff to do. Um, so it's going to be a very productive, good week. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe for a new vlog every single week. This is Fitz. He's my golden doodle if y'all are new here. Hi. I know. I'm six minutes late, so I'm hurrying up. Oh my gosh, I do need new sneakers, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Like, my running shoes are just, they're hokas, they're great, I love them, but like, I think I just need to get fitted for shoes. So I for sure get the right pair for me, because I don't want to say it before I run, because honestly, I can't put that bad energy out, so. I finished my run. I ran just under two and a half minutes in 26 minutes. It said 28 on the plan, but it was like, it says 26 minutes total and I did the plan. So I don't really know. Um, that probably was the furthest I've run, I think. And I feel good and I'm off to weightlifting. I'm drinking my water. I've been taking, um, Kylie last week brought me the powders pre-workout and I really like it. The snow cone flavor, it tastes so good. And then I also have the electrolytes and I've been drinking those. I don't know what flavor they are, but they're also really good. Dallas girlies, you know, but anyways, really good. The pre-workout I think has really helped me um, because all of a sudden I'm running my like fastest and my longest. I mean, yes, granted it's a plan, but like I feel better. And since I started loving running is when I took pre-workout. So like, I do think that there's some sort of connection. Um, but anyways, I'm on my way to weight lift. Then I took my nails done and then a busy day ahead. All right, y'all, well, I'm getting ready faster than I've ever gotten ready. I have a meeting in like two minutes. I got my nails and my brows done and I finished obviously my workouts. I hate getting my nails done, but I really needed to get them done for this week and that was like the only time I had left. And then today is mainly prepping for my homeworthy tour tomorrow. My mom and my grandma are coming over. We've been prepping for the past couple of weeks, but this is obviously like our last day before the tour. So we have to finish the plate wall. 
I need to break the turf. Like there's just a bunch of stuff like that that we need to get done. By the way, I have been like, living in overalls. I got these short ones. This is not what I should be doing right now, but um, they're small and they're a little tighter on my thighs. Like I wish I would have gone up a size. Free people is where I get on my overalls and free people sizing just really runs large from what I've seen. So I've been wearing a small when I'm normally a medium in case you guys are interested um, in purchasing any of them. They're always linked on my LTK, the long ones that I want. Um, I get those in a size small and then I would do medium to large on these, but I mean, I still already have them, so whatever. Golden Hour sunscreen, my number one holy grail product. I obviously put on my favorite perfume ever. It's the Ambery Saffron um, Gossier perfume. It smells like Baccarat and it's only 50 bucks. It's literally insane. I'm about to look it on the podcast, so there might be a discount code in the description by the time this video goes up, but I don't have it right now. I'm just love stuff. I need to put on some earrings and we're ready for the day. But they're gonna be too harsh, I think. Like it, it's not good. Try, yeah. what do you want me to do about this one? Just try to replace it with this one, cause it. You step back and see. I think it's just looks good, but what is this? Hold on. Yeah, it actually looks good. I mean, I can go higher on this. Lift everything up a little bit. Oops. Katie, remember where they were? All right, y'all, I'm adding these Amazon flowers. I'll have them on my storefront. I have more orders of them coming. They're just arriving, unfortunately, after the tour, but I have another box of these. We're putting them in there. The fake flowers over there looking good. It looks good. All right, we've cleaned up the backyard very quickly. Um, but I did add more fake flowers, as y'all saw. They will be on my storefront. They look really good in person. And I just have too many plants and flowers that I'm taking care of, and the hose getting it out here is just, it's just like a whole thing. So anyways, fake flowers around the pool because I've spent so much money getting new flowers, and it's just been really hard to keep them alive over here because the lighting is really weird. So anyways, love that. All right, y'all, just finished a lot of the home stuff I needed to do. I have therapy in 30 minutes. My mom, my grandma left. I just am heating up some of this really healthy like turkey chili that I made the other day. Very good. I literally just googled like healthy turkey chili and made it very simple. Um, I've been drinking my, well I guess I can show you guys now. This is the um, pre-workout that I've been drinking that I was talking about earlier. The rainbow snow cone flavor. So good. And then this is what I've been having for my electrolytes. I'm having more I am so hungry now. Here is the plate wall. I love it so much. It's so cute and just so perfect. Here's a little closer. I'm in love. All right, just finished therapy. I just put on comfortable clothes and I'm going to go get a blowout for the week. Back from my blowout to the cutest package ever. So Luna, these are the same people that made the dogs like the really, really cute Christmas like matching handkerchief vibes. Fitz is just gonna be a little femme, okay? Like he's just got, he's kind of a girly too, but they can have cute little matching ones. This would be so cute for the tour. Oh my God, wait, I'm like obsessed with these. This is so up my mom's like alley. They are so cute. I also got refills of this Kenny Confidential mouth tape. This stuff is so good. If you don't have it, you need it. It really will change your sleep. Like, it's just the best thing ever. Another home update from today, by the way, is this photo. Look how cute. It's my mom, me, my grandma, and then my aunt in the kitchen. I was clearly a baby, 
But like, look at how cute that is in my kitchen now. Like, makes me want to cry. So sweet. It is 8.30. I just took my Array sleep pills. I'm putting my mouth tape on, I'm putting these on, and I'm going to bed as soon as possible. Good morning, y'all. It is 5.30, and I'm going to Pilates. Today is homeworthy day, so I'm like so excited. Um, and it's a big day. We've got Parker McCollum tonight. We have like a pre-party for the ACMs. We have stuff literally every hour today, starting at 6 a.m. So, gotta keep going. Oh, Shannon and I are recording a swap last minute. Like, it's just gonna be so fun. Okay, Roback stuff, like first off, the quality is unbelievable and it's really cute. It gives me like tennis moms, Pilates mom, whatever, but like this is the softest thing ever. Just some Prada slides. I'm so excited. I haven't done Pilates in so long. I haven't done performer Pilates in a bit. My Pilates place that I go to in Dallas that I love is Shine Hot Pilates. It's like a hot mat class, but I've just been needing things that were like more calming and this place just opened in Dallas, so Matt Pilates, hot, shine, nothing compares, but I want to see how this goes. Your IPO window being ready starts with your self-assessment, tailored insights on less than slash announcement about a letter, and sign up, um, that's I know, I probably sound like a serial killer, but I really forgot how much I love a 6 a.m. workout class. The best part about like the first day that you do it, when you go to bed so early and you're like so prepared, is, or just like the off day that you have so much energy. I swear I have energy because of the mouth tape. It's insane. I wake up refreshed. Like I've never woken up with energy. Like I normally wake up and I'm still tired, but with mouth tape, it's just like really helpful. Anyways. Forgot how much I love a good early morning workout class and you get everything done out of the way and then you just have like peace in the morning. It's so nice. I have ice rolling my face. I'm literally like so excited for today, guys. Like I haven't been excited for a day in since January. So I'm very just excited. I've been looking forward to Homeworthy for so long. Even the elevators for this Pilates class are nice. Like, this is gonna be the nicest Pilates studio of my life. It better be. It's so expensive. Oh my god. Like, guys. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I loved that class. Now, listen up. It is so expensive for a reformer class. I only wanted to do reformer, and like, here's the thing. I wish I didn't like it that much because. Oh! Miranda Lambert. I wish I didn't like it that much, but it was just perfect and like the sun rose as we were in class and like Taylor Swift was playing and it's just like a really peaceful, calming, like grounding workout, but you're still like getting a great workout in. I loved it, but it's really expensive. I can't like go all back all the time, but like I would go Tuesday, Thursday if I could. to be like dressed up and have makeup on by like 8 a.m. and making breakfast. I am just making my ground turkey egg scramble that I make literally like every day. It's the best, especially if you're trying to make sure you're eating more protein. I'm trying to eat more protein just because I feel like I was never eating enough before. And I, it's really been so amazing. I like crave a lot less like sugar and I find that my energy is better, even though I am drinking a lot of coffee, so it's not really fair, but I feel like my, like, I don't even know if, I'm, if this is even true or correct. I just feel more stable throughout the day, if that makes any sense. I'm out of my stuff from the farmer's market that I top this with, which sucks because it makes it so good. Got like an hour to get some work done, and then they're arriving. They're here. We're starting. Well, Caroline's here. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I love the outfit. It's what I wear. My camera's not going to be recording in here. Then stop that. You're going to be out. 
said, okay, I'm gonna have it. You want stroller duty with Coco? Okay, cool. Behind, but Finn's go inside, bub. Okay. Let's do these two TikToks really okay, quickly. And then everything is ready. It's finally, this is taking me. I'm not kidding, I've been working on my house for the month. Like, yeah, I've this. been seeing all your videos and stuff. And everything we're ready to go. Truly. Okay, it so. It looks really good. <gasps> Thanks. Carly sent over some TikToks to make her friend of mine. I want to do, what am I now? This one. Okay, so it's like, this one is like. Pretty much, I finished the tour portion. It took probably like three hours, I wanna say, and then we're getting B-roll shots still. Heather came by and we got home shots, like photos, and then we shot some like friend of mine social content. And now I am about to make a coffee because I've been going, going, going all day. It's been a good day. And Shannon's coming over. I'm so excited to see Shannon, like literally so excited. She got, Surgery like the eyelid surgery. I don't even know what it's called um, So she's in Dallas because she did it with Bridget's husband Dr. Mike and she's in town and the girls are filming a podcast swap I've been wanting to do a swap for the longest time. She had my podcast forever ago before she had a show So now we're finally doing a swap. I just always thought we would do it in Nashville So what a good surprise that she's here this week and uh, I got more ACM invites for tomorrow. So lots going on I'm wearing my Jacker sweater Guys, I have been telling everyone, everyone needs a J. Crew sweater. I have this one, which I got in a large, I wish I would have gotten in a medium, and then the navy that I have in a small or a medium. But it's perfect. Look who's here, post surgery and all. Shannon's actually not having surgery, she's actually on vacation this week. <laughs> Wait, by the way, Dallas is like the most accepting culture ever for surgery. Yeah, there's a lot of surgery here. Like, I was like really excited for people to like pay me attention and know yeah. what to uh, That's kind of a Texas thing too, though. People just like don't care. Do you guys know that you invented the boob job? Did I, we? I it. Houston. And you know what else we invented? The frozen margarita. <laughs> yeah, in Dallas. Tits and frozen margaritas. Yeah. Texas. I saw that on Google once, so like if someone wants to cancel me, I don't really care. This is how you know that Shannon has arrived at your anything, house. So. This is insane. Just speak from my heart. By the way, I like feel so bad because you know your podcast quality fun fact is like my goal in life. My podcast quality. Oh, yeah, the video please. is like, it's so good. Hey, I mean, it's it's, it's not going to be as good. So I, yeah, producer Courtney, I literally have damned her about it. I'm like, hey, just wondering what's up there. Like, what's going you on? know? It's incredible. Um, Here's, um, I just, I was wearing a dress all day in ballet flats and it was slay. just too much. But also the fact that it's you're in a full outfit Kenzie Elizabeth core and your hair looks fantastic yes, thank you um the fact that she's in like a full outfit post-surgery like I would be in sweat so I keep my sunglasses on for the pot or do I just go full should you reveal Sally oh the nightmare before Christmas it's literally I thought like you were gonna be like full Frankenstein when you got here no because like you don't have to like wear a wrap or anything so I like yeah. I, keep, I keep forgetting I have this when like, I got my like chin I got your on my chin oh like, yeah a year and a half ago, and I was like December, and I was flying to Europe from my friends for New Year's. Why? And uh, but I'm it was sure. no, it was fine. But I could fly; it was allowed. But like you had to wear like a head <laughs> garment, and I I don't give a fuck. Like I, that's what I mean about texting because you're like, from like, Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> so I no, literally, I'm the epitome of Dallas. Like I'm leaving. We're like in the lounge at the airport, and I don't care at all. I'm like do 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 do, like making my tea, you know. And my friends were like, I cannot be seen with you. I like sat on the I'm like, I'm like taking my glasses off. I walked into a store that was like darker. Yeah. And I was like, I like physically like can't see. So yeah. I took my sunglasses off and I was like, oh, waiting for them to like say something. And I love a little jokey joke. So I was like, yeah. And I you were like, like us. taking my new lids out on the town. And they looked at me like, well, you were also in Helen Park Village. So of all places in Dallas, no, they be. literally looked at me like we don't care. I was like, any questions? Any like, you know. Yeah. What do you want to know? <laughs> no, no literally. Like, like, I'm doing a live Q&A. Do you, want, do you want a cookie, bitch? You got your eyelids done? Like, we got that when we were seven here. Literally. Like, it is so funny, too, because, like, there is, like, such a small part of Dallas that is, like, the Highland Park, the, the plastic surgery, or whatever, but it just feels like it's so... Because everyone else is normal. 
Yeah, I mean, like, that's, you know what I mean? TPD, but well, well, I needed to explore more. But, like, for me, personally, I was. Not like, in those areas. Like, that's just, like, what it is. Everyone was so accepting. Yeah. I was just, like, well, it kind of made me want to shop more. Yeah. I've been drinking so much. I don't think you're supposed to drink. I'm just, you're, you're definitely, definitely not. not I was drinking. Drinking. <laughs> but I haven't bruised. But I did tell the internet, I was like, because the surgeon, Dr. Mark, did such a good job. And I was like, guys, if I bruise, it's 100% my fault. Like, I have been drinking yeah. copious amounts of alcohol post op, and I don't think you're supposed to do that. Well, here we okay. are. And Dallas just brings it down either the creators of the frozen marg and the tits. titties. So. Yeah, there you go. That's actually such a fun fact. That makes I so much sense, though. Doesn't it, Houston? Even, you know, like when I moved back to Dallas, like, I went blonde like, immediately. <laughs> like, I was like, how could you not? Yeah. I think I, like, when I went darker with my hair, it was such a dark time. <laughs> but also, like, where were you living when you went? I was living in LA, and it was just a different time. But I think I was trying to like separate myself from like my family because my family's all blonde. I'm I think it was like natural, some deeper like, thing. Well, it wasn't natural even then, but yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like we're just trying to go back to our roots. It's so much harder for me to keep my hair dark though than like because my hair is actually like dirty blonde. So like if it's it goes, to pull. yeah, it, it will look gray like when it goes darker. Oh. Hair, so I'm so fucked once ever my my hair turns. I'm gonna have to find these cowboy. Copper TikTok. Girls. No issue. Just text JC. Oh my gosh! Go. I hope. Do you know what? I'm the one who told you that. But I always forget she's not a natural redhead. I know. When you told me that, I was like, well, that's really rude of you to say because she's. Natural you were like, redhead. you didn't believe me. I was like, I, don't, I literally swear to you. And I'm a redhead, so like, I know when people yeah. are natural redheads. Definitely JC thought you were a natural redhead. Because she sure. looks. It looks like it just fits her. It so suits her so well. It suits her so well. And the roots are just always rooting. Always oh, rooting. I know. She's like really incredible. She's I'm going to her baby shower this weekend. I'm so excited. What are you gonna wear? I don't know. I haven't thought that far. I have any to pack, so that's actually a good question. I need to see. I know you just did a house tour, but I need to see your. Um, oh, I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. yeah. I need to see um, your closet. That's what I need to. Oh, let's just over. let's just go do a little tour because I need some vlog footage for today, anyways. <laughs> All the way down here. Don't worry, that is coconut stroller. But it's because she's paralyzed, not because I'm, you know, annoying. Oh yeah, this is the guest office in Obsessed. here. Obsessed. And then we have lots of candles going. So sorry. Bedroom, guest bath. Oh. This is my new wallpaper I did recently. It's really something. And wait until you see the closet. I can't. I can't. Right wait. here. This is what I have to show James. He doesn't understand the concept. No. I'm it, like, oh my. Not the full view from your closet. Oh, I know, right? Like, That's actually really cool. It's really like, do I hear something really embarrassing? So I had like two remotes for these lights for my closet. And I didn't realize that this one was dimming. So I was like, oh my god, my lights in here are broken because they were like, th they were like that low for whatever reason. So I literally this morning at 8 a.m. Container store was on their way to like fix it before the tour. But thank God I realized it before. Can you imagine how embarrassing that would have been? I've done that before. Not with this specific. Thing. I've done it with AC and just forgetting the fucking filter. But I've before. I've called. Um, it was my my boat. I own a pontoon. Um, okay, yes, your boat. And I um. I, call, I just really love this hat, by the way. I just feel like it's something I need to have. It's just perfect, right? Um, I own a boat, and I called the place I bought it from and was like, I just bought this boat. It's not cranking. I was like, so, like, I don't know what you guys need to do with me. I, it took all my courage because I'm, like, such a people pleaser. Yeah. I'm not a Karen and at all. And you, like, so I was put like, your foot down. I was like, foot down, <laughs> brand new boat. This is absurd. He's like, right, just triple checking battery. I was like, battery's fine. He's like, triple checking this. I'm like, fine. He's like, and then, this is going to sound crazy. You are in neutral, right? And I was like... My, my phone call would have dropped. No, <laughs> I was like, I was like, yes. And then I was like, hold on. Okay, all right. And things are working. I'll, 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 I'll call you back. <laughs> Called my dad was mortified. No, He's like, really. Shannon. But like, see, here's the thing. Sometimes the most obvious is the hardest. Agreed. You know, do you want to come see the garden? Yes. <laughs> Let's go up this way. I'm, I'm a follower of the garden. Oh, thank God. It's just, it's something that's really special. So here is the pool. What a gorgeous day. It's my little stock tank pool. I would just tell me, what did you mean when you said you got a left? So there's like metal. You really are <laughs> up to date. A it's a silver metal, a <laughs> silver metal, uh, typical stock tank, but that one lasts longer. They also sold the silver metal, but I was just being responsible. And honestly, because I knew I was going to have the deck, I was like, it doesn't make that big of a difference. And I think it looks no, fine. No, it doesn't. Like, it's, it's fine. It's the silver metal is, it's like, Totally. Water. Yes, yes. So these are my eggplants, my carrots. This Love is, carrots. I've got lots of greens, but I've had a lot of drama with 
either Bugs. a rabbit or a squirrel. They're eating all of it. And this used to be massive. It's really a sore subject. So You've I like to just put some, some deterrent. You know, my mom. I've has done deterrent. You do. I have so much. No, well, no. Put like put like scarecrows. Oh, I am. I have something coming. It's like a like a figure. Yeah, my mom said like an time. owl. Like put fucking owls that are really so scared of owls. I, I guess they can eat my owls. I should do like actually a theme scarecrow. Like no, you then should. I'm like you really can change its outfits. Yes. So I do like a get ready with me and my scarecrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my onions, but like see they keep eating everything. They're supposed to be like that tall. Let me tell you something about onions. We have onions unintentionally growing in our yard because I'm just a girl yes. and James is from London so he doesn't understand yard upkeep and oh, yeah. Taylor was like, bitch those are like spring onions weeds growing in your yard and I was like oh no but like maybe we should harvest them. That's actually crazy. Yeah that's the thing since like, this is my first time around with like this big of a garden I don't know when they're harvesting. I'm so impressed. Then we have that's gonna be cut flower and then that's gonna be cauliflower so wow, we've got some updates. It's just a cut flower. Like on the other side by my pool, there's cut another flower. cut flower. It's just like, uh, like flowers you can cut. Yeah, for arrangements. Oh, nice. So they're tall. But this one was like the chaos planting method, and of course it's growing faster and easier than the other one. Cause this is the only thing I didn't start from seed, like flower wise. This is where you just throw them in and kind of just let them do their thing. Yeah, like, I have like a full laboratory in my garage of a like a laboratory. Yeah. What else are you growing? Can well, not right now, cause I was growing things, but I ran out of space. I so like, I was making a joke about weed. What, what'd you say? I said, what else are we growing? Because you said you had a laboratory. Oh, see, that's the joke that I normally make to my friends when they come oh. over. But I was just, you know, I'm trying to get monetized. So, oh, yeah, um, but yeah, like it's really something really keeps me occupied. So I love it's like really a good time. Oh, Fitz is out. Okay. We haven't even gotten to the hosting closet. So this is like a pretty big <gasps> part of it. It's in here. The plate oh yeah. The plate wall's new. And this makes this off your... The oh, podcast studio is like oh. right there. See, it's really like a dream. It this just smells like you'd be like hosting something. Yes, we have so many options. I have my breadwinning house of shot glasses. I have all of my things in here. Wow. So it's really a fun little situation, but it's great for the holidays. Especially. Oh my gosh, I this is the dream. I have to take pictures and copy everything you're doing. Where are these plates from? Are they plastic? That's plastic. Is that crazy? No, I use them for my like niece's like birthday. Yeah. They were Amazon, and I was like, oh, that's, like, so I amazing. I wonder Taylor just got this for She said, I got some really pretty, uh, like, disposable blue things for your wedding shower. Yeah, that might be ones. it. Wow. Yeah, because they're, like, pretty, they pop up pretty quick so on Amazon. So gorgeous. Your shelves, did you do all this? Thank you. Well, I picked it out. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Besides, um, Sierra designed the office in my entry room, but other than that, I did everything. Wow. Love. Love, love, love. But I just, books. I got real close with my wallpaper guy, you know? Yeah, wallpaper, you yeah. know what? I've wallpapered, like, everything in my house. Yeah. And I know they're like, but resale, I'm like, ah, fuck it. Like, no, they can I don't make care. It yeah. the, the right person that wants to buy my house will be like, I can take down wallpaper. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't not buy a house because it was wallpapered. And also, if you need to take it down before you sell, like, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. And I just, like, makes your house so cozy. So cozy and so much better and so much more personalized. Oh yeah, see, like that made me feel more adult than like buying my first like two houses. Like, I have my life together, you know. Wow. Not really, but that wrapping no. station makes me think that. Not really. Yeah. Wow, so nice. It's like yeah. so perfect in here. We have our tea, our cute little house guest mugs. You know what I love about this mug? I love that it's on both sides because some mugs are just one. I know. You have to have a double side for branding purposes. You never know when the photo's coming. Well, I just, <laughs> so it's nice that I get to enjoy this and, and enjoy see it, this. and we both can. That's true. That's the more wholesome answer. Guys, look at what Shannon just got me. It's the cutest stuff ever. It's from Tyler Kingston. No, we're exchanging. We're literally, we're literally just switching our guests. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Thank you. Wow, I'm living large. No, that's. I actually got that Montana. This is like perfect. I'm obsessed. Guys, Shannon just left, and today has been the best day that I've had in a very long time, and it was very much needed. So. Now I need to get ready and get out the door. I keep getting more ACM invites. I just got makeup on my sweater, great. I'm not going to like any more. Well, I am going more tomorrow, but not tonight. Tonight, it's just like a Parker McCollum pre-party. I love Parker, so I do have like some outfits. This is what's so nice about having this clothing rack is that you always have outfits kind of plan. See, ideally, like I would wear this, but I need to steam it. And, like, I'm sure I would have to, like, really work a number here. Like, do I just try it? I'm just also pale. It's not going to lie to itself. It's kind of fabulous. But I should have, before I open this, I should have ironed the romper. 
I have no time, and I don't even know if I would have if I had time, because I hate, hate ironing, I should have steamed it, but it definitely looks like lingerie, sure, but it's this cute little romper. I'm not going to touch up my makeup, I did this 12 hours ago. It looks good, so I'm meeting my sister there, she's my plus one, and again, this is the fit. I've arrived at the Star in Frisco, outfit, we're ready. I wish I would have, like, fixed my makeup a little bit, but honestly, listen. Clearly, I, I don't really care. So, anyways. <laughs> Am I choking now? I've got to get out of here. We're leaving now. Bye. Good morning. Here's my fit. Ignore the beeping. And you're like, fuck you. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday morning. Yesterday was a good day. This morning was a rough morning, not gonna lie. But we are up. We are going to work out. I just made myself a little oh breakfast snack thing because I was really hungry. Um, cottage cheese on rice cakes with honey. If you guys have watched my vlogs for a while, you would know that that's like the best thing ever. Don't knock it until you try it, okay? So good. And I made a coffee. Um, I'm listening to or finish you up this Getting Confidential episode with Gary Vee. I have like such bad allergies and my voice sounds so weird and I, yeah, last night was fun. I realized after that I didn't get much footage of it, but it was just like a Luke Casey pre-ACM party. Parker McCollum, he played, a couple other people played. It was cool, it was in Frisco. Today I've got two ACM things. I have um, Tacova's Opry Next Jelly Roll is going to be there. Jelly Roll is like my favorite. Hello, rude. Jelly Roll is literally my favorite person in the entire world. I love him. So that is like so exciting. Back making breakfast, opening some boxes. This is the cutest thing ever. I have BarkBox. I've worked with them in the past, but I am like a paying member. First off, the branding is so cute. Like just for myself, I like seeing this, but they are the toys that, the only toys my dogs play with and they love the treats. So, I don't know if we still have, like, an active code. I will put it in the description if we do. But it's one of my, like, favorite things ever. Butcher Box, I don't need to be pointing an eye to you. But I know Butcher Box has a ton of ads. I've never done an ad with them. I've been a paying customer for probably, like, a year and a half. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite. It's not a meal delivery service. It just, you get, like, grass-finished, like, beef, chicken, meats. It's just amazing. Um, Shannon was over yesterday. Mine came over, and she works with them and, like, loves them a lot. But... It's the best thing to get delivered to your house because even when I do other meal prep services, I love those and they're great. But like sometimes the timing doesn't work out, I have to give it to someone, like I forget, whatever. But your box is frozen, so it literally doesn't matter. And you just always have meat ready to go, especially in the summer when you're grilling and it's better for you. I just, oh my god, I love it. So meat haul time. Chicken breasts. Grass-fed beef ribeye steak. More chicken breasts. Oh, I forgot I added this. I'm so excited. These are beef and pork meatballs. I love meatballs, especially just to get like added protein throughout the day. It's so much easier. On bison, ground beef, butcher box, and my grill. Best friends this summer. I'm hopping on a call in a second. I don't know if this would interest y'all at all. I never know how much like business stuff that you guys want me to talk about. I feel like a lot of it you just like like home, personal life, like normal stuff. But I was watching a vlog the other day and this guy was like fully filming his meetings and like posting them and to me that's really interesting and I just like seeing the behind the scenes even if it's like a business I'm not interested in like starting myself. I just am interested in it. So maybe I'll try that next week when I'm like in LA. I mean granted I'm not I'm gonna be in person recording a lot. It's always really hard for me to film whenever I'm recording a podcast. But since it's like a big work week and we are spending like a new series with a friend of mine and stuff, maybe I can film a lot of like the behind the scenes and just like keep the camera on during those conversations. We can try it out. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. I guess I'll just try it next week and we'll see. Also, I feel like you guys really just want long home vlogs every single week. Like I'm fine to just do a vlog all the time. The issue is just that like my vlog, my life is really depressing right now. So like it's not always the best, but like if I'm having like a day where I'm feeling a little bit better or I just am having, I'm honestly, I feel better when I'm busy. Sometimes, not always, but um, like I had a great day yesterday. I felt the best I felt and then this morning was brutal. So it, it just like hits you, you never know. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm honestly down to do a vlog every single Sunday though. And just like keep it at that if that's what you guys like the best. I do love the cooking series, I do wanna do that, but just keep me posted. Just thinking out loud here. Um, 
it's so crazy. Like, he just cannot handle the world not revolving around him. He just doesn't understand. It's, I have to work. You would know nothing about that because you're a dog. I just got from meeting, I did my makeup. I have to just say, I have gone back to my tried and true, which is hourglass powders. Remember when I used to use a dim light powder like every day for years? I can't believe I ever stopped using it. I just ran out of it and eventually just didn't repurchase it. What a mistake. I use this entire palette. I've been using it every day. That's how I like it. This is the ambient palette. I use all three of these all over my face, which is probably like not what you're supposed to do. No, they're finishing powders. Well, three is a definitely a highlight. And, you know, we should maybe tone that one down. But then I use this bronzer and then I use this blush and then I kind of also use this. It is amazing. I'm going to link it below. But if your makeup just is looking like dull and like you're not like giving, you know when you want to give youth, you want to give glowy, you want to glowy especially, you want to give like healthy, like this stuff, the hourglass powders are what you have to have to use just trust me i remember at first when i spent like 50 dollars on one of the powders and i was like this is insane because i didn't even know this product like existed and like this better really rock my world i used it every day for like years and years and years and then i just i don't know i got out of my routine but i'm glad i brought it back and i won't forget because my skin my makeup just like wasn't looking good and now it's like glowy and healthy and i just i love it i cannot believe i wasn't using it. Anyways, Macy's gonna be here in two minutes, so I need to get ready because we are going to Jelly Roll. All right, ACM week is continuing and it is time to get dressed. Oh my God, I need to go water my plants. I have to go, I totally forgot. When I tell Macy I'm ready. Not to be cheesy, but like I'm so grateful for my home. I'm trying to work on gratitude to get me through this time. And while I don't feel lucky at all, I am very grateful for certain things in my life and I do feel fortunate in certain ways. And sometimes when I'm just, I totally blinked. Oh, when I'm just like walking around or whatever, I'm like, I just love this house. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed and stop boring you guys, but I'm practicing gratitude and I'm so grateful for my home and I'm so grateful for you guys. And for my friends and my family. And yeah, I'm trying my best. Here is my fit. This skirt is H&M. My boots are just brown, so my boots are just kind of fun, like, put together. I don't know, I like it. White tank top. And then I can't decide between these two. It would be helpful if I had my sunglasses. I'll probably do brown sunglasses. Guys, I just lied about everything. I'm actually wearing this dress. I need to get rid of these straps. These boots. I'm bringing my blazer in case I get chilly later. Can I show them what I'm wearing? Yes. Okay, I'm wearing this dress from... So, uh, that just came out. Uh, Sorry. It's American Sorry, Eagle. Sorry, y'all. It's my yeah. roots. No, literally. But it's American Eagle. And it's, like, so flattering. Like, look at that. Love Oops, that. Sorry, I'm wearing shorts. Don't worry. Um, yeah, I was going to wear this pale yellow for people dress. But it was just... I was having wardrobe malfunctions. But I did my makeup. Your wardrobe malfunction is more like rubbed off me. Look how much. I know, I'm so I sorry. My, my, I mean, this one is like it's clean, but. Yeah. Do the tan bits. Yeah, they're fine. They're like my SIG signatures. You SIG? Yeah. I've just been so busy going, going, going. Meeting, meeting, meeting. Shoot. Meeting. Dude, shoot. Launch. Yeah. That it's just been hard, you know? No, I get it. Life of. An entrepreneur. A uh, Forbes top 100 times person of the year. You know? I'm gonna nominate you for Forbes 40 under 40 and, like, and pay for it and then tell everyone that like you paid your way. <laughs> and you're gonna do 40 under 40 because you think that I'm older than that. Oh, 30 under 30. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Until <laughs> <laughs> you are 38. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. We're off. I, I feel like. Wearing a lanyard is so embarrassing. No, it's, I, I, I put it on to get up here, but I was like, like, just say you want attention. Just, yeah, VIP. Anyways, we're here, looking cute. And I'm really thrilled to report that you have food and drinks. I'm so hungry, like, hungrier than I've ever been before. Can you order? I ordered 
our food, but I didn't get you a drink. No, that's fine. That is fine. That's allowed. Oh, there we go. She got frozen more. That's crazy. I know. And I was like, kind of like toying with my VIP, so he like. Everyone in the section is VIP. Oh. <laughs> I'm so tired. We had the best time. We went to a Tacova's like Opry Next event, which is so much fun. I mean, like I my dream is to go to Opry. I can't believe I've never been to the Opry. And then I mean it has I'm like such a Nashville girl. Oh my god, Deacon Claiborne was there. I didn't say anything. Charles Estine. I think that's his last name. Estine, I'm pretty sure. I didn't say anything, which I honestly should have. Like that's who I made my like first horse after is Deacon Claiborne, which is the character in Nashville. We saw a lot of like really cool people, but I we went to this like Top Golf um, event that was really cool, and like everyone was there, and it was really fun. But I'm so tired. I actually think I am going to the ACMs after all um, one year. I literally make zero effort to go, and I last minute got an invite. Um, I'm like pretty sure it's happening. So, okay, little run haul, y'all. I'm so excited. I didn't get to run today or yesterday, and I really wanted to. I really missed it. Like, who am I, okay? This has been like such a busy week. This little, it's called the Runzy. I thought this was cute. So I want to do this. And then I also got these shorts. I've heard really good things about these shorts. I feel like you like have to chase like crazy though in them. They have cute little pockets, so I like those. These are little run shorts as well. I'll probably just bring all of this stuff to LA on Friday. And then these shorts, I got the same shorts just in pink. So hopefully I like them because I did buy two colors. I've heard good things. And then I also got these shorts from Lulu. I asked my friend who's a runner, like what I should get, and these are the shorts she recommended. So, here we are. All right, y'all, happy Thursday. I just ran today, it's actually storming out. I was so excited to get a run outside, and then it's been storming all morning, so it's storm all day, I need to clean it up in the background. But I did, 25 minutes straight, which is really good for me. Running on the treadmill was a lot easier, but it was just boring, and my Garage doesn't have lighting, so I was like literally running in the pitch black and like watching a YouTube video. Um, but I feel good. I'm glad I got that done. I could have run faster and long or I could have run longer. It just feels so good. Like it was like easy, it's just getting easier and easier. So that's good. I need to shower and get ready. Today's a big day. It's been such a big week, guys. Like we've had so much going on. But by the way, I ran in the Renzi and I loved it. I want this in like 15 different colors. Very last 
last minute going to the ACMs. I'm getting picked up in less than an hour, so I need to get ready. I'm so excited. Like, this is truly a dream come true. I didn't even try to go this year because obviously I just haven't been in the mood to do anything, but so I'm going. I have so much to do, so I've just been running around the house. That's why I haven't been vlogging. I was packing, I was prepping, I was getting work done. I was just really running around like crazy. This is supposed to be my catch-up day to get ready for LA, but you know what? It's like three now, and I need to be ready for the ACM. So you gotta just say yes to things, you know? My own makeup, obviously, my own hair and makeup, it's super last minute, and I'm gonna try my best. Like with a little lash, we're gonna see what we can do here. And I'm gonna just do a very like easy slick back bun because I have a dress that literally guys arrived last night in that haul. I had things obvious, of course, not obviously. I have things, of course, just in my style that I could have worn to the ACMs, and I'll always, like, if I'm doing stuff that's gifting and they have, like, nicer stuff, like, I will buy dresses when I see them that I really like that I think would work for just, like, last-minute events like this because so often there is a last-minute event. I just happened to pick this dress, and it got sent, and it was a right, it rocked yesterday. So when I got home, I was like, perfect, this is what I'll wear. All right, y'all, it's time to get ready. I don't know what's up with this lighting. The TV has just turned on. Sorry, so annoying. My dress, it's from Chopo. It's literally perfect. I mean, what a crazy week, guys. So I'm wearing this with my hair up, big earrings. I've got them in my bathroom and little kitten heels. But I think this is so cute and perfect. I'll link the dress below. It's navy, which, as y'all know, has been my favorite color lately. Okay, I like need a breast reduction just to wear dresses, but I love this dress. All right, final look. I'm about to get picked up. Here we go. The dress, like this thing keeps flipping. It's the only thing, it's like the sticky part that keeps it up, but it's so tight around my chest. Like it's not really falling down. It's just more of the look that's bothering me. My hair is up. Here we go. I feel like I did a pretty good job on my makeup and then this is the vibe now i'm listening to taylor swift and i ordered chick-fil-a i'm getting picked up in 10. final look before i'm off for the night i just wish that this would be a little bit more up it's just hard like it's tight but the rest of it is perfect like feels so good it's so poofy like it's just literally the perfect dress and I'm ready to go. I did the best I could with my hair and makeup. Um, and we're just, we're going with it. I even did fake eyelashes. I'm back. It looks like I'm not wearing clothes. I, I am, I promise. Great night, it was so sick. Chris Ableton brought out Dua Lipa. I mean, you guys probably know this at this point. Post Malone played some new stuff. Post Malone and Reba sang together. Kelsey Ballerini and Noah Khan. It was really cool. Let's keep talking about this. Not really our creators. One next step, we'll say, I got something. Oh five, heading out to my workout. I'm wearing a skirt. Just the stuff that I had. I'm like, I kind of, even though it's literally the same thing, it's fine. I feel weird like wearing skirts or skorts. Weightlifting, even though it's literally fine. Um, the thing that sucked is that my tanner somehow got on this top, but this entire set is so flattering, so soft, so comfortable, year of ours, I'll link below. I have a discount code from them. I just like can't remember what it is, so I'll ask them for y'all. It's always either like Kinsey, Kinsey, you know, one of those things. So, it's so puffy. I don't know where my hair ties are. And I need to get this workout over with because I'm gonna pick up in a couple of hours to the airport and I haven't packed. We've got a lot of stuff to do this morning to get there very quickly. We're going to LA today. All right, I'm in the middle of packing, but I just unboxed a package from McKenzie Child. I'm so excited. I bought all of these over here. They're the cutest things ever. And I want everything, like this, like strainer, how do you actually say it? I've always just said strainer. Um, so cute, but they were out of stock of 
like the rosy collection, which is the one I love, and then I love this one. So I got these little berry like, containers. I honestly need all of them so I can just keep my fresh berries in the fridge this summer. I also got this really cute little kitchen napkin, and then my strainer. It's pretty small, but it's, it's good for like a single person if you're making pasta and stuff. And then I also got this cute little tray, which I'm so excited for. So I'm so happy. I'm crashing. I'm in the middle of packing up all the friend of mine stuff because we are on a work week next week. I realize now I should have just had this package delivered to LA. That would have made so much more sense. But instead I had it delivered here for me to carry and bring another suitcase for no reason. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life vlog. Booked and busy and we're about to be booked and busy next week too. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.